other thing that happened, of course, is XRP popped. Um, some of the developments in the SEC case against Ripple. What, what's that about? Yeah, so it looks like the judge in the SEC case uh, against Ripple, which, uh, you know, for those of you who have not seen this part of the show before, uh, the SEC sued Ripple at the end of 2020, and the case has been in this kind of administrative back and forth over the past year. Uh, right now, it looks like we're still kind of in that process. The, you know, different attorneys for each party are trying to, uh, you know, define the scope of discovery, so the material that is provided to both the plaintiffs and the defendants. And a judge ruled recently, uh, as in the past week, that some documents can remain sealed at the defendant's request, but other documents should not be. And, um, you know, one of these documents seems to be uh, legal opinion secured by Ripple uh, ahead of, you know, it's selling XRP way back in the day. Um, the defendants seem to believe that uh, this document will kind of, it will indicate that the SEC, or sorry, that uh, Ripple, excuse me, uh, acted in good faith. What is going on, Blockchain Monkeys? Evil here, like Thank you for coming to my jungle. First of all, I'm no financial advisor whatsoever, nor am I a professional in blockchain technology. But there is one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give you my opinion. So today, we have got to talk about BlackRock. What do we have here? This is how you know we are boarding. So you got BlackRock here, planning to offer crypto trading. Now, BlackRock has already been involved in crypto for the longest time. Now they're offering it to their customers, getting them ready for the shift. What? And so before we get into this article, I wanted to take you, ladies and gentlemen, to the Atlanta Press, show you a little bit about XRP and why you don't sleep on it. And so we have here the Atlanta Press Highlights in Computer Sciences, Volume 1. I wanted to show you this part, this section about Ripple. So here we have, firstly, blockchain is able to mitigate these disadvantages. And secondly, it can be used as an alternative in case of disconnection of a country from SWIFT. Ways of improving the system of transferring money through intermediaries between the sending banks and the receiving banks is proposed by companies such as Ripple. It is a decentralized payment technology that makes possible free and instant payments anywhere in the world. Ripple does not supplant conventional payment channels such as SWIFT, but rather connects them. Although Ripple system has its own XRP cryptocurrency, transactions can be executed in any currency. Do you understand this? Like the magnitude of this thing is just epic. OK, while traditional cryptocurrencies are designed to be used by ordinary users and become alternative means of payment, Ripple, on the contrary, actively integrates into the banking industry. Its main customers are large banks and financial institutions. It is not for us, which means we are in the right place. OK, you have the advantage of this platform is also the fact that it has complete anonymity, which is an important point. For banks, Ripple does not require mining and therefore does not consume such large amounts of electricity, which is necessary for securing the Bitcoin network. Instead, Ripple has initially released a fixed number of 100 billion XRP. When Ripple processes a transaction, 0.0001 XRP is written off, i.e. they are destroyed. This is necessary to counteract spam transactions. Thus, the total amount of XRP currency will gradually decrease and the price will Rise. My biggest business loser for 2022 is Visa and MasterCard and traditional payment rails and the entire ecosystem around it. So I think that this is the year you can put on what probably will be the most profitable spread trade of my lifetime, which is to be short these companies and that anybody that basically lives off of this two or three percent tax and be long, well thought out. Web3 crypto projects that are rebuilding payments infrastructure in a completely decentralized way. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that what you say won't also happen, both that Stripe will have an incredible IPO and that a lot of these scammy crypto projects will go to zero. However, if you read the white papers of these crypto projects and you systematically put together a framework, I think you can be long those and you can be short Visa MasterCard because I think this is their peak market cap. Okay, so going back to BlackRock, you have BlackRock dabbles in Bitcoin as investors rush. This is coming from February 17th, 2021, over a year ago. But 
you got to think they got these these people have been getting in, involved in cryptocurrencies way before that, and then you have this coming in hot. BlackRock finally letting the people know, hey, we are coming in hot, getting you ready for this explosion. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, is preparing to offer a crypto trading services to its investor. What? According to three people with knowledge of the plans, the New York-based company, which manages over $10 trillion in assets for institutions, plans to enter the cryptocurrency space with client support trading and then with their own credit facility. One of the people said, in other words, clients will be able to borrow from BlackRock by pledging crypto assets as collateral. It says here, the asset manager may have been telegraphing its intentions. Of course it was, okay? As early as June, when it began hiring for a Latin blockchain strategy lead. These days, it's taken as known that Wall Street banks and large financial institutions are edging into crypto with the likes of Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and City are carefully choosing strategies. BlackRock has already sent some positive signals to the market regarding crypto, including trading SME, I'm sorry, CME, Bitcoin futures as filing the US Securities and Exchange Commission. The company also has plans to launch the iShares blockchain and tech ETF. You know they're going to get it, okay? And an exchange traded fund tracking the index composed of companies involved in crypto technologies in the US and abroad. How much more of a head start do you need? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, uh, yeah. And we will all see each other on the moon. Cause it's the standard in this bitch. SRP. I, I went to YouTube University. And now they mocking me. With no degree. We say about a swift. Keep it walking. We smoking elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. You don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain. Blockchain. We talking about an intellectual choo-choo train. It's the LT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain. Blockchain.